You're a little nervous? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Just don't a be, little bit. Don't be nervous. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Good. Shall we start? Absolutely. Okay. What would you like to know? Um, when was the first time that you recognized your abilities? Hmm. My abilities as a musician? As a musician, as a writer, as a poet? Probably when I was about seven years old. Hmm. What happened when you were seven years old? I wrote my first song. What was it about? The song was about, uh, well, it was entitled Perfect Lovers. For seven years old? It's a little Tian, isn't it? Well, it wasn't for me at the time. <laughs> so what was it about? Uh, just a, a perfect relationship between two people. And um, I guess that's about all it could be about at the time. Didn't have much, much history to go off of. Okay. Um, so... What exactly inspires you in in life? In life? Mm -hmm. mm. That's a good question. What inspires me in life is beauty, art, the lives of others. <laughs> the lives of other sillies? Meaning silly people? Um, oh, it just makes you laugh. No, it doesn't really make me laugh. It really inspires me, actually. There's so many different types of people. Beautiful people. Sexy people. Hungry people. Ugly. Silly. Freakish. I think all those qualities you can find in each of us. Um, some people think that you're strange or odd. Hmm. This word. <clears throat> I have heard that. Is that a question? Yes. <laughs> that is the question. What? How do I feel about that? Yeah. What? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I've learned to deal with it over the years. It was very difficult at first. I wanted to be accepted by other people. I wanted to fit in when I felt that I was being perceived as being odd or strange. Was it since you were little? Yes, I can say that. But as I got older and something else happened, I learned how to condition myself to deal with that. Something else? What is something else? Uh, this, the something else is what's pretty obvious these days. Um, at least obvious to those that follow my music and to those that uh, that know me personally. You don't want to share? <laughs> sure. I share it every day. Uh, I share it, well, I should say every night in some aspect. But I definitely share it in my music, in my lyrics. The writing is on the wall. So basically... Um if we follow um, to your songs, it's like a diary where you tell about your life. Absolutely, yes. Okay. Um, Have you read my lyrics? Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. Um, I go on your side from time to time. Hmm. In one of your songs, you say that you are on the top of the food chain. Hmm. Ashes to ashes. Yes. How shall we take that? We? You mean normal people? people? Yes. Silly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, not, I, it's not that I think people are silly. I'm saying that from from the point of view, from the point of view of me being what I am, what I be of, as it says in the song, uh, "The Age of Rage." Um. My nature is just a little bit different now. 
So for those who are still curious to know what I'm speaking of, it'd be great if they just bought the CD or a volume of lyrics of mine, and that way it would kind of help them through, kind of help them wade through the waters. Yeah. It's like making them curious. Oh yeah, intrigue is a wonderful thing. It entices, don't you think? Yes, I absolutely agree. Yes. That that would moves people sometimes. Yes. Um, do you think a lot about your mother? Yes, I do. Does that happen when you sat or? I think it happens a lot of times when I'm creative in a very fervent way, almost manic creatively. I think it happens when I am sad, yes, if I reach those realms. But yes, I do. My mother was a big influence in my, my creative endeavors. What are your plans for the future? For the nearest future? For the nearest future? <laughs> I like it. You're specific. It's to write a new collection that can take people to another level um, in relation to understanding my music. And by that, understanding the world? Yes, or at least the, wo the world that I, that I know of and how I see it. And how do you see yourself in the world? Hmm. I see myself in the world sometimes as a spectator watching it. And then I see myself in the world sometimes as being the only one that's uh, not sleeping. And that doesn't mean that I'm saying that people are not thinking. No, I mean, the fact that I am nocturnal and I do most of my work at night, it's often times that I feel everyone else is asleep. No more questions? Um, some people would say that your music is dark. Yes. You don't think the same way, do you? Yes, I do. It is dark, but dark in a sense of decadence, passion, perhaps erotic, internal, eternal, if you will, not so much evil, in fact, not at all evil and sadistic or uh, seductive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yes, especially your voice. Thank you. Mm, no. Thank you. No, thank you. 